resilience, right? For me, the ability to bounce back, withstand from difficult, from or basically make a comeback from difficult situations. Um, you know, my story is of resilience, um, but yet the story of resilience is made after. After is, you know, after the dark, after the darkness, I call it. I think your true self, I think you really find yourself who you are during the darkest moments. And a lot of my, you know, upbringing really developed into a, a fuel for me as I got older. Um, for me, early in my life, I lost a mother to cancer. And then I had my a stepmother, my father ended up getting remarried. And then later on, she abandoned us. Um, on top of being, you know, growing up in a low-income neighborhood, on top of being a first-generation college student, um, the odds were really set against me. Hey, uh, when my brother got diagnosed with cancer, he was my superhero. When I think about my big brother, I think about like, like a, a 200-pound, like great-looking guy who's athletic, healthy. Um, he was someone that meant everything to me. I tell him that I loved him and I'm gonna miss him. The day that he took his last breath will forever be engraved in my soul. Today, I made it my mission. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I knew one day I'm gonna be special and I'm gonna make good on my life. I realized, you know, I had shelter, I had food, and I had great mentors around me. And I rose up to the occasion, and I, I challenged myself again. I've always been very active, and, and especially in self-growth. If you're not challenging yourself or you know, trying to make a better life for you, for, for others, um, I feel like that's, that's hard, that's, that, that's a difficult life to live, because I love giving back. I think some of my biggest weapon is the, my empathy, and that drives the work that I do today. I think your ability to put your feet in somebody else's shoes and understand where they're coming from is huge. Because you develop an emotional connection that when you're tired and you're doing work for them, it's more than just, oh, 9 to 5, I gotta clock out. It's like, all right, I gotta get this done.